Hello there, it's Gadevi here, I'm the Last Mikester, and welcome back to a video that I have been very excited to make, where we'll be taking a look at the top 10 dinosaurs in Jurassic World Evolution 2. It's the follow-up to my previous video concerning the top 10 flying and marine reptiles, so I'll drop the link to that video in the top right if you haven't seen that one. Once again, this is my personal ranking, so feel free to comment below on your own favorite dinos in the game, or to explain to me why I'm wrong with my rankings. I will also be going by how the game pronounces each dino just like last video. So let's get straight into the list with one of the most iconic dinosaurs of all time, the peaceful Triceratops who stomps into number 10. A dinosaur that's almost as famous as the T-Rex, this three-horned beauty lived 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period living alongside other dinosaurs such as Stigimoloch, Ankylosaurus, and of course the T-Rex. It was an impressive specimen at 9 meters long and 12 tons and is no less impressive in the game. The Jurassic World World Triceratops has some really nice patterns and looks awesome, but I'm sure the 1993 Jurassic Park version will get a lot of people's nostalgia coming back in waves, and it's a fantastic rendition as well. The sound design for it is great, which I always appreciate when it comes to prehistoric life. It's such a classic dinosaur, and at number 10, it's ahead of a lot of really cool dinosaurs, and is my favorite ceratopsid in the game. At number 9, we have a feathered newcomer to the franchise, the Pyroraptor. While its role in Dominion may have been a little meh, it shines in a whole new light in the game. It was a late Cretaceous dinosaur that lived around 70 million years ago in Europe, where it roamed what at the time was a tropical environment. Its name means fire thief after the first remains were discovered following a forest fire in Provence, southern France, which I've got to say is a hell of an entrance to make for the first discovery of your bones. Now, my main reasoning for ranking the Pyroraptor so high is what Frontier did with the patterns and colors for this guy. The designs here are just phenomenal. The textures for the feathers are beautiful, while the colors and patterns just give it a whole new vibe, especially this dash here on the face, which plays a part in covering up the weirdness of the Pyroraptor's face. There's also a skin that I like to call the Banana Raptor, which just makes me happy for some reason. It has some neat animations too, particularly with the social animation. and it's human kill. It also has a unique little thing that it does when it's raining, where it'll give a little shake shake to get rid of the water that is collected in its feathers. A very nice touch indeed. Overall, a great addition to the game, and thanks to Frontier, it's a lot better than it is in the movie, and looks great in any exhibit on any map. At number 8, we have the hybrid murder machine in Indominus Rex. I debated for a while whether I wanted to include a hybrid in the top 10, but I think the Indominus deserves it, because the design isn't too over the top, but still cool, and it has a super freaky roar. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, around seven years ago in 2015. Wait, what? Uh, of course it didn't actually exist. I mean, I think if it did, a lot of species might have gone extinct long before the asteroid hit, but its Evolution 2 design is great. The skins and patterns are a little dull, in my opinion, but it makes up for it with the sound design, animations, and overall presence in the Jurassic franchise. At number seven, we have the Jurassic Predator Allosaurus. It lived 150 million years ago in what is now the Western United States, and it was the apex predator of its time, living along side and, of course, feeding on other dinosaurs such as Stegosaurus and Apatosaurus. I have a lot of nostalgia for this particular dino thanks to Walking with Dinosaurs and its spin-off, Big Al, both of which, along with Prehistoric Park, are pretty much my entire childhoods under age 10 summed up. The aloe in Evolution 2 may not be Big Al levels of awesome, but it really has a neat design with the eyebrow ridges and some fantastic texture work, along with some pretty cool colors and patterns that add some nice flair to it. It's a really, really cool dinosaur and is one of my personal favorites in real life. Coming in to number 6, we have the crested dinosaur Cryolophosaurus. It was a very unique species, being one of the first carnivorous dinosaurs to ever exist around 170 million years ago in the early Jurassic, and its remains were found in Antarctica, of all places. It may be colder than the north of Westeros now, but back in the early Jurassic, it rarely reached freezing temperatures. Its name means frozen crested lizard in reference to both where it lived and its crest, which looks fantastic in-game and has some awesome 
awesome colors. I really like the design here. It has some cool patterning and excellent texture work, not to mention a funky yet awesome sea serpent style social animation. It's one cool looking dino. You know, because Antarctica and all that. Anyway, number five on our list comes with a bigger roar and less bad jokes with the Chiangosaurus. This lesser known Tyrannosaurid was a cousin of the T-Rex and lived at around the same time, 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period, just in China and other parts of Asia. It's a fairly recently discovered dinosaur as well, with the first remains being found in 2010. My opinion on this dino in the game can pretty much be summed up with the following quote. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. It has some epic coloring and patterns and a very unique look with some intense eyebrow ridges, an elongated snout, and some slightly lanky legs. It has a cool social animation as well, which is always a plus. At number 4, we have a recent addition to both the game and the franchise, the Therizinosaurus. This beautiful weirdo has a certain presence, no matter where it is, mostly due to the massive claws on its hands that many people believe are the longest claws possessed by any animal in the history of our planet. It lived in Asia during the late Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago, and had to contend with the theropod Tarbosaurus. In Dominion and Evolution, it has some rather terrifying sounds as well as downy feathering, complete with different colors and patterns to display in your park. With a unique feeding animation, an adorable social animation, and brutal kill animation on the large carnivores, It's a stunning dinosaur, no doubt about it. Into the top three now, where we have the Spinosaurus. Ah, dear old Spino, you were forsaken in Jurassic Park 3, but now you shall find your redemption, and in Evolution 2, I think it absolutely has. It was first discovered in Egypt all the way back in 1912, and since then its remains have been found all across northern Africa. It lived near swamps and marshlands in the late Cretaceous around 95 million years ago, and was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs to ever exist at 15 meters long, and weighing up to 4 tons. In the game, it has some excellent skin patterns and terrific sound straight out of JP3. Its social animation is neat as well. And it can eat out of the fish feeder. But what more do you need from this sailed beauty? At number two, we have the most majestic creature to have ever walked the earth, and I will hear no arguments against it, the Brachiosaurus. Admittedly, a lot of why I like the Brachy is nostalgia and its role in the first Jurassic Park film, but I mean, come on, how could you not be in awe when looking at it? It brings back that feeling of wonder from the original Brachiosaurus scene that I think so many Jurassic Park fans can relate to. It lived 140 to 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic period, and was absolutely massive, being one of the largest land animals to ever exist, weighing in at over 50 tons, 21 meters long, and 12 meters high. It's a dinosaur that truly represents the majesty of the time of the dinosaurs, and much like our number one, it has some of the most iconic sounds in the franchise, perhaps even in the history of cinema. Cinema. Speaking of our number one, there was really no other place to put this dinosaur, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now yes, I do realize that the Jurassic Park T-Rex is not super realistic, and it's the most famous dinosaur to ever exist, and putting it at number one may be a bit too obvious or whatever, blah blah blah, but it wouldn't be at number one if I didn't think it deserved it for both its role in the franchise and its design, animation work, and sounds in-game. But before we get to the game version, the actual version lived 68 to 65 million years ago in what is now the Western United States, specifically the states of Colorado and Wyoming. With an immensely powerful bite and heightened sense of smell and hearing, it had fed on pretty much everything that lived at around the same time, uh, including lawyers. In Evolution 2, it has some pretty neat skin colors and patterns that fit the model quite well, but the movie skins are where things get even better. You get all the T-Rex appearances from the movies to date, including Rexy, the Buck Rex from The Lost World, which is my personal favorite, and even the feathered variant from the Dominion prologue. The sound design is top-notch 
much, and I think if you asked most people what the most iconic Jurassic Park sound is, I imagine the T-Rex roar would take first place. With a great social animation, The king of the tyrant lizards is king of this list as well. That will be all from me, folks. I got one more Evolution 2 video planned, and then we'll be moving on to many new things. And I am super excited to continue this journey with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, then consider giving it a like and subscribing. If you are subscribed, then hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos. I always appreciate the support. Much love, take care, and until next time.